Hello everyone, this is Mike from Makoko, and in this tutorial, uh, it's going to be a quick one. I'm just going to show you how to characterize your skeleton in Motion Builder. Um, this is a really great tool for when you are retargeting or doing some motion editing on your ske on a skeleton or a character. Um, also, when you're done with recording in Rococo Studio and you export your skeleton, this is how you're going to get that animation onto your 3D model. Um, so, in the scene, I've already opened up. It's in Motion Builder. Um, this is just a sample animation from uh, the sample file from Rococo Studio, the two punch, and I've exported it as the Rococo Newton skeleton. Um, again, it doesn't matter too much about uh, what skeleton you export it as um, because we're going to define it and then we'll be able to retarget it to other, uh, other skeletons or 3D assets that you have. Um, so, so let's get to it. Um, so in your character controls, we're going to define the skeleton. I'm going to click define, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign uh, the joints, the bones, to what in the scene what they are in this little uh, this little breakdown up here. Um, so right here, this helps because it's going to have your naming convention of the joint that you've selected. So I'm just going to match it up. So hips are going to go right there. Um, spine. I'm going to. Spine one, it's gonna go right there, and it's okay if the naming conventions are off. Like for instance, like I've selected my skeleton spine two, but in the definition, it's gonna go at spine one. Um, that's okay. It has to go from bottom to top because if you assign it um, to a different slot, it's gonna give you an error. So for instance, like this is spine three, and say I assign I assign it to the spine three slot, it's gonna give me an error. Um, so again, it just has to go from bottom to top. So it's understanding uh, the hierarchy of, of the skeleton. Great, so I'm just gonna go through this and, uh, and do this real quick. Uh, and these little arrows, they expand out. There's also arm, um, a little more options like arm twist and hip translation and the root. Um, a little more, more options for you, but I'm not gonna go over those. Just again, just a nice, simple, quick, um, quick tutorial for you if, you if you're having trouble right now. And what's nice is that um, it mirrors. So that's this this option up here. Um, so when I assign the left arm, it's gonna assign the right arm as well. Um, let me go to the top, because I'm trying to get the hand now. So it gets a little messy. Don't really know exactly which, jo which joint. That's, that's a prop arm, I don't want that. No, okay, so I'm gonna go to the schematic to see the breakdown of this character, so. The left hand so there it is you can also assign from here if you want or you can assign down the character um, definition down here in the navigator you can also drag and drop in here um, there's multiple ways to do this but this is just my own personal preference um, if if we had finger animation i would also go through and assign all the fingers um, this animation does not have that um, but if you did good on you um, you can assign the fingers in there um, also if you're going to do if you're going to keyframe the animation later on the fingers, you will have to assign those because then when you build a control rig, <clears throat> um, you can actually have those um, those FK and I code, FK IK controllers um, assigned. Um, so great. So now I'm going to go do I'm going to go to front view to get a neck. Oh, that's my head. I don't want my head. I want neck first. So again, there's more more slots for neck, but this this skeleton just has one neck joint. Uh, maybe you're doing like a, a dragon or a snake or something. Um, but yeah. Alrighty. And what's nice is that Rococo, whenever you export your animation out from Rococo, um, it's automatically going to put a T pose on your character um, at um, at the at the zero key. So if you don't, if your animation, say your talent or whatnot, doesn't go in T pose, that's okay because um, Rococo pushes out a T-pose at the zero frame. Um, great, and and say you say up here, this is, hey, we got it green. We got, you know, the status is validated. That doesn't always happen. Um, that's because your character's not in the perfect T-pose, typically, that's the error. So for instance, like if I rotate the arm, we're gonna get an error up here. So, and that that's when you just have to adjust um, adjust the character into T-Pose. Um, unfortunately, uh, characterization only works in T-Pose. It does not work in A-Pose. So if you have a character that is in A-Pose, 
uh, you're going to have to force it in the T pose to be able to do this. If not, you're going to get some really weird rotations once you add the animation. Um, great, so I'm going to uh, hit this lock button up here to save it. You can also come down here and click this box for characterize. It's a biped model, and great. And then down here in your navigator, um, there's a character. And of course, you're going to rename it because you're going to have multiple animation and so you want to keep everything organized, right? Cool. So two punch. Um, also, what's really nice is you can actually save um, this template. So up on, now that I've locked and everything's good to go, I can just hit save and let's say Rococo skeleton. Um, and that's not where I want it to go. So I'm gonna grab copy. I don't, I want this path. Great. So now, great. So now, um, let's say I have a new scene. So I'm just gonna not save it, and I'm gonna throw in that animation again uh, with the same skeleton, same same everything. Um, I'm gonna define it, and since we've already saved everything, um, great. So what you can do is, um, if you saved it on the default path. Um, then it will pop up in your templates. If not, you can hit browse and you can find it where, 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 wherever you've saved the file. Um, I did it as Rococo. Um, if there's prefixes, you can add prefixes. This one, I didn't do any prefixes. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. Great, so sometimes um, there's a little bit. All right, so just gotta do the left hand. So let's see, where's that left hand at? Great. This is so much faster than, great. And now it's all green, good to go, and great. So now once you save that first template, then you can reuse this, that template for any time you export animation. So you don't have to do this process over and over and over again. Um, and also that goes for, say, your, your asset that you're using in your scene, um, just define it once, and then every time you use it, um, you can either just save that characterized file or you can redefine it um, with a template. Um, so that's gonna do it, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, feel free to throw a comment um, in the comments uh, of this video. Please like this video, head over to rococo.com or of course uh, email us at support at rococo.com as well. Thank you very much.